get to the key. Sometimes we get tired. Sometimes we get weary. So take me to the king. Amen. At this time, Shalom, will you get be lead us in a prayer? Yes, ma'am. Let us bow our heads for prayer. Oh, gracious and most heavenly Father. Yes. First and foremost, we just want to thank you for allowing us to wait yes, to see another one of your Ooh, glorious yes, days. Lord. Thank you, Lord. For giving us another opportunity to get things right and start things over with you. Mm. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we ask that you forgive us for our sins, Father. Yes. For the sins that we've committed, whether they were knowingly mm. or unknowingly, Father. Yes, Any Lord. things, Father, that we've done that's not pleasing in your eyesight, Lord, yes. we ask for your forgiveness. Yes, Father. Father. Father, we ask that you continue to walk with us and guide and strengthen us on our daily strides to be right closer now, to you, Father. Continue to uplift us spiritually in all that we do, Father. Yes. Father, I ask that you put a spiritual word on our Sunday school teacher's tongue today, Father. Yes, Father. Mm. That everything that she may teach and say fall on fresh and fertile ears, Father. Yes. Father, I ask that you uplift the pastor, Father, today when he brings the word, Father. Yes, sir. That no one leaves out of here empty and full, mm. Father. Yes. Oh, Father, we just thank you for all Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We ask that you just continue to give us the strength, Father, to go on and strive and get closer to you, God. Mm. Yes. Because the only way through life is through you, Father. Yes. So we just thank you for all things. These are as blessed we ask in your son's name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. All right. The title of our lesson is God of Power, November the 14th, Lesson 11. We're still in our final quarter of study, and this unit shows John's vision of a celebration for God's ultimate victory and developing a realm of peace and justice. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. How many times have you suffered as a result of the wickedness and the woes of this life? No matter how bad things appear to be here on earth, hold on to your faith and remain faithful. No matter how bad things are, there's a brighter day ahead. There's a brighter day of restoration and judgment coming. Mm -hmm. There is a brighter day. Amen? Amen. As I said last week, John gives us a glimpse. Don't give us a full picture. You know, because if you get a full picture, we've been all probably trying to get that already, you know? Mm -hmm. So he gives us a glimpse of hope of a glorious day that is coming for those who believe. Amen. Amen. Who believe. Our key verse says, Sorry. the seventh angel sounded and there were great voices in heaven saying, the kingdom of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ and he shall reign forever and ever. Revelation eleven fifteen. Just a reminder, John wrote the book of Revelation why he was in exile. He was in the city of Panama, and he was sent there by the Romans because his witness of Jesus, about mm -hmm. Jesus. He was witnessing about Jesus, and they were afraid of what would come about. Revelation is the last book of the Bible to be written and closes the New Testament and theme of Christ's second coming. Written to reveal events which will take place immediately. Not, 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 not a day or two, but immediately before and during following the seven, second coming of Christ. Mm -hmm. You see, Jesus revealed God's plan for the end of the world to John's a vision to see and record it for future reference. Amen. The scene he sees is all in heaven. It's not down here on earth. All, everything that John is talking about is in heaven. In chapter 6, we saw the opening of the seals. We may remember in chapter 7, there was a pause or a break between the six and seven seals the blowing of the trumpets. The second series of judgment is for more severe than the first one mm -hmm. because of the opening of the seals six. Passing my research, chapter 11 is one of the most difficult, they say, difficult chapter in Revelation. It says because of the significant, they use a figurated and symbolic language there. Mm -hmm. We read about the two witnesses in chapter 11, but I want to share with you too, when those trumpets blew, mm -hmm. it says that in chapter eight, and this book is, uh, Revelation, I said last week, is not written in order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in chapter 8, it says that the angel filled the censer with fire from the altar. And it said, then the seven angels with the seven trumpets prepared to blow their mighty blast. The first angel blew his trumpet, and hail and fire mixed with blood was thrown down upon the earth. One third of the earth was set on fire, and one third of the trees were burned, and all the green grass. Mm -hmm. Then the second angel blew his trumpet, and what appeared to be a huge burning mountain was thrown into the sea, destroying a third of all the ships, and a third of the sea turned red as blood. Mm -hmm. 
The third angel blew, and a great flaming star fell from this heaven upon a third of the rivers and streams. The star was called bitterness because it poisoned a third of all the water on the earth, and many people died. Lord. The fourth angel blew the trumpet, and immediately a third of the sun was brightened and darkened, and a third of the moon and the stars, so that the daylight was dimmed by a third, and the nightmare and the nighttime darkness deepened. As I watched, this is John talking, John says, I watched, I saw a solitary eagle flying through the heavens, crying loud, whoa, 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 to the people of the earth because of the terrible things that will soon happen when the three remaining angels blow their trumpet. Then the fifth angel blew his trumpet in chapter 9, and I saw one had fallen to the earth from heaven, and he had the keys to the bottomless pit. When he opened his smoke poured out, then it says the locusts came out, the plagues and stuff came out. So we see that, and the sixth angel blew his trumpet and heard a voice speaking from the four horns of the golden altar, altar, I'm sorry, altar that stands between or before the throne of God. I saw the horses spread out before me in my vision. So John sees plainly mm -hmm. what these angels are doing in heaven that we have to look forward to. They said the second time he comes, it's going to be worse. The wrath that he pulls on us is going to be worse than the first one. Amen. Amen. Because so much sin is going on. So if we stop sinning, maybe, just maybe, and that's what the author of the Bible tells us, repent. Mm -hmm. Repent. Mm -hmm. Repent your sins and God will forgive you. So in here it says that we read about the two witnesses in chapter 11 whom have extraordinary powers. And uh, Pastor, I don't know about anybody else, but I was I was wondering about, you know, we read in Bible study that you always got to have two witnesses. Mm -hmm. And so I was curious about who these witnesses would be, so I Googled a little bit, and a possibility that nobody really know who the two are, but a possibility might be Moses mm -hmm. and, Elijah. and Elijah, because Moses, you know, turned that uh, water to blood, the water to blood, and it has to be somebody that says power to burn war, turn water to blood, and power to destroy his enemies, and then Elijah destroyed his enemy with fire coming out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. So we see that it possibly could be them. And God said he would rise up a prophet like Moses. He said that in Malachi 4th and 5th chapter. Mm -hmm. Then it said it could be Enoch and Elijah, possibilities, because their unique circumstances surrounding how they left this how earth. They, left this earth. Mm -hmm. they didn't die. Mm -hmm. God just took them straight up. Mm -hmm. So it says God took directly them to heaven without the spears and death. And that's in Genesis 5, 23 and 2 Kings 2, 11. Mm -hmm. It says all men are appointed to die once. And since the experience of death, this qualified them. No man, it says no man can escape physical death. Mm -hmm. So it's possibility could be Moses and Elijah, mm -hmm. possibility be Enoch and Elijah. And Zechariah saw this lampstand that we're going to talk about. He saw it. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we see both the Old and New Testament comes together and give us what we needed. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So I'm wondering, in my mind, just like the possibility they have here, Moses and Elijah, Elijah and Enoch, Elijah and Enoch, simply because they didn't die. Mm -hmm. And so God, you've got to experience death. That's what God says. We have to experience death once. Amen? Amen. Amen. Okay. And also, um, on the on the Mount of Transfiguration, when Jesus was in the Garden right. of uh, Gethsemane, he saw Moses and Elijah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Any other comments? See, that's what it said. The possibility could be great. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Amen. And everything that he's seeing is taking place in heaven. Mm -hmm. It's not down here on earth. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So we'll get into our lesson. It says God of power, but I don't want to say who is in charge. I want. I think I won't be wrong if I say who's in charge. Rever I'm reference to the seventh trumpet is sound, announcing the arrival of the king. There is absolute no turning back. God is in control. He unleashes the full anger or his wrath because he's told you uh, over and over again in the Old Testament, repent, repent, over and over again. And when the wrath begins, there's no escape. There's no escape. You see, God had extended his mercy and chance after chance after chance for man to repent, mm -hmm. but yet man didn't do it. Amen. 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 So in our lesson day, 15a says, And the seventh angel sound, and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of the world are become the kingdoms of our Lord 
and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And so we see here that nothing like the first six instead, there were woes, plagues, and famines, and earthquakes, mm -hmm. and there was death. The sounding of the seventh trumpet is followed by a, a marvelous heavenly worship scene. Mm -hmm. And it says that celebration takes place. Think about the Lord's prayer when he gave it to the disciples. He said, thy kingdom come. Mm -hmm. If we go back and look at the prayer that we pray, mm -hmm. uh, that he gave the disciples, he said, thy kingdom come. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And so that we, will be done. That will be done. And his will is going to be done. Amen. It says right here. Mm -hmm. And the seventh angel sound, and there was a great voice in heaven saying, The kingdom of this world are become the kingdom of our Lord mm -hmm. and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Amen. 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 So we go on and see. Good morning. Amen. Miss Kathy, too. With, with that being said, when you say it, uh, the Lord's Prayer, which mm -hmm. is the model prayer. Mm -hmm. But not only did it say, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, it said, On earth, on earth. As, it is in as it is in heaven. So it's going to be a mirror. But see, right now, what, 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 what a lot of us don't understand is the ruler of this world right now is Satan. <laughs> Satan is allowed to have his reign right now. Amen. And that's why we see so much calamity and so much uh, 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 negativeness and badness going on and corruption going on in the world. Because we're not connected to the truth and one living God. Mm. And then we want to say who are these voices mm -hmm. that we heard. There are 20 elders, multitudes of angels, mm -hmm. four living creatures, 144,000, and the great multitude that no man could count. Mm -hmm. What were they doing? They were praising and celebrating God for ruling this whole earth. Amen. They were praising them. Again, there were 20 elders. A multitude of angels. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. The four, hmm? Twenty-four elders. Okay. Okay, sorry. Twenty-four elders, multitude of angels, the four living creatures, mm -hmm. one hundred and forty-four thousand, and the great number that no man can uh, to number. And they're all praising and celebrating God. Mm -hmm. And here on earth right now, are we doing what we're supposed to be doing? <laughs> That's the question. Are we praising? Amen. Are we praising God and celebrating God for who he is? And, and Ms. Kathy, can I go a little bit more mm -hmm. in detail on that? Mm -hmm. in, in chapter 4, it gives you a description of those 24 elders because it says around the throne were 24 thrones. And on the thrones, I saw 24 elders sitting, mm -hmm. clothed in white robes, and they had crowns of gold and on their heads. Watch this. And then from the throne proceeded lightning. Come on, come on. You, uh, lightning, thunderings, and voices. Seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And so that's important that not only did they offer a, a, a praise and a worship, mm -hmm. but what came with the praise and worship was the power of God. Glory. Mm -hmm. and, and what God is trying to do with his children and with us, his church, mm -hmm. in this day and time, is bring that power down to us mm -hmm. so that we'll be able to fend, uh, fend off what the enemy is trying to do and corrupt us mm -hmm. and corrupt the people around us. But it's up to us to get into yes. that praise and worship where there's a connection that is a straight connection. It's got to be personal. It's, person. mm -hmm. it's got to be a one-on-one -on -one connection. Mm -hmm. But then when we fellowship, mm -hmm. when we come together as that church that Christ is called mm -hmm. his bride. Mm -hmm. Glory. Amen. 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 Saying. What are we Come doing? on. What are we doing? Right. Come on. Come on. Amen. Lord. Amen. Lord. Lord. Mm. Just that. Just that. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But, that's, that's why I asked the question. What are we doing? Amen. What are we doing here? Amen. But, Miss Kathy, I'm going to be quiet. Uh -oh. Amen. <laughs> we, <laughs> glory to God. Amen. We as believers, we have to display the power of God that dwells within us. Mm. See, a lot of everybody looking for it on the outside. It, mm -hmm. It's just like our teaching saying we we humans chasing after spirit. No, we're spiritual beings that were sitting here for a human experience. Mm -hmm. And the more that we tap back into the spirit Glory. of the living God that dwells in us, mm -hmm. see, you can't you healing won't come mm -hmm. if you ain't if you ain't locking into the spirit that's already in you. Mm -hmm. Praise won't come mm -hmm. if you don't tap into the Holy Spirit that dwells in you. 
So with us, that's why he said, greater is he that is in me than he that is of the world. We so reliant on the man that walks around on the, in the world every day. The man that got to get up and go to work. The man that got to uh, uh, get sick. The man, we got to tap into the man that dwells in me that is higher. Amen, amen. And we know that God has always been in control of the universe. Yes, sir. And he still is. Yes. yes. Uh-huh, I'm sorry, Deacon Brown. I, I want to ask him to, uh, to the claim and to the pastor. Uh, you know, if, if you got to ask a question if, if you don't know. Uh, and I want to ask this question. Now, who, who was those folk uh, in 20, uh, uh, elders that, 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 that God was speaking of? Was, was those redeemed uh, 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 elders of God? Well, yeah, if, if we remember last week, we talked about the roles being blood washed. Mm -hmm. So they were redeemed. Mm -hmm. Glory. Mm -hmm. they, they were redeemed. They were, they were God's personal mm -hmm. elders. Mm -hmm. and so, yeah, they were, they were blood washed. They, go ahead, Miss Joy. Oh, mm -hmm. Now, do my reading, you know, I'm trying to find out that we don't say it. Exactly. No, the scripture doesn't tell you. It said that it should be like the 12 apostles. Mm -hmm. Right. And it should be like the, uh, the 12 tribes. Mm -hmm. But you, and if we think about it, 12 and 12 is 24. Mm -hmm. So, so you know, God has his way of doing it, but what, what, what we must know in our, what's being said is they are blood-washed, redeemed saints. Mm -hmm. saints. Mm -hmm. and, and like you said, D, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. We got to know that they are blood-washed, they've been redeemed. Mm -hmm. They've been bought with a, pro, a price. They've been bought mm -hmm. and paid for by the blood of the Lamb. Mm -hmm. And as those elders are, so are we as Christians. We bought with a price. Gave, Jesus gave his life as redemption mm -hmm. for our sins. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you can say that, that when they're praying and we sing those little songs, I'm going to keep on running mm -hmm. till I get my crown. Get I'm going to keep on running mm -hmm. till I get my crown. Some, sometimes we don't know the meaning mm -hmm. of what you're saying, mm -hmm. but you're going to keep on running and we're running for God. Because we want that, we want our crown. Yeah. Just like these saints here got their crown. Mm -hmm. I want my crown one day. I don't know about you. And, and Ms. Ms. Captain, my God. We got to realize something. These saints of the Old Testament didn't have Jesus. Mm -hmm. They didn't have Jesus to come at that time. Mm -hmm. They had him, but not in the form that we have. Right. Mm -hmm. Being born of a virgin. Mm -hmm. Came down through 42 generations. Mm -hmm. But at this time, That's Jesus true. had to get the keys. See that? We talked about it. Miss Captain uh, went into it a little bit. Jesus had to get the keys to go unlock Hades mm -hmm. and set those captives free. Amen. 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 Verse 16 says, and oh, we read, I'm sorry. And the four and twenty elders, which were, were set before God on their seats, fell upon their face and worshiped him. That's an intention pause in heaven at this moment mm -hmm. to allow them to worship. Come on. And for all of the witness as they fell down on their faces and gave worship to God. Amen? Amen. 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 And Ms. verse, I'm sorry. Miss Kathy, you and I, um, was the last week or week before last, when we had the praise break and we was um, trying to explain that your worship, your praise got to be a little louder mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. It, it, it's all right to sit down, mm -hmm. you know, and it's all right because everything ain't going to touch everybody the same way. Mm -hmm. But yeah. when you look back over your life, mm -hmm. and, you, and, and I'm talking about scripture, scripture believing, Bible total, mm -hmm. Holy Ghost filled people of God. Mm -hmm. When you look back over your life and you see what God had brought you from, mm -hmm. what, re, what what he redeemed you from, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That don't mean you well, God wants you to be now because right. we're striving to get even higher. Mm -hmm. But when you look back over your life, you got to have a shout in you gotcha. that nobody around you should be able to make you be quiet. A muzzle mm -hmm. shouldn't even be able to stop the shout that you got. Amen. We, Amen. Some, see, we got to realize as believers, God has brought us through some stuff. Mm -hmm. And he's still bringing you through some stuff. Yes. Ain't no way you should be sitting down on God. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, Miss Catherine. Uh -uh. It's okay, it's okay. In verse 78, saying, we give thee thanks, O Lord, God Almighty. O Lord, God Almighty. They were giving thanks. They were grateful, giving gratefulness, grace, and open their mouths. They didn't sit down like you just said. They didn't sit down. Mm -hmm. They opened their mouth. It says, saying, we give thee thanks. Mm -hmm. Not what somebody else said. We give thee thanks Amen. is what they're saying. Amen? Amen. Amen. He made the earth. He made man. 
Then he went and made man, woman for man. Amen. Look at what he did. Amen. He made the earth. Mm -hmm. He made man mm -hmm. from the dust. Mm -hmm. And then for man, he made the woman. Mm -hmm. You see, everything moves through the power of God. Amen. Amen. Everything moves through the power of God. Amen. 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 And so verse 17c says, Because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and have reigned, Praising God, these elders, these 24 elders, have seen the angels. They have seen his plan and taking control. Amen. They see God taking control, and they gave thanks. Mm -hmm. They gave thanks to him. You see, it says, you see, the king, the elders, all 24, were declaring that the kingdom of God had come and that authority had been given to Jesus Christ over the kingdom of the world. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ will rule forever and ever. He's not going to end you now. He's going to rule forever. You see, the elders gave thanks to God because he's almighty. Amen. He is who he is, who was, and is to come. Come on. Come on. He is who he is, Amen. who was, and is to come. Mm -hmm. Simply saying God is always Amen. Mm -hmm. who was, who is, and who is to come. Amen. Amen. Miss Captain, my, my, uh, my version from New King James said the one. Mm -hmm. The one who is. That, that 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 makes him singular. Mm -hmm. It don't make him plural. Mm -hmm. The one who is and who is to come. Mm -hmm. So in other words, he's already been here. He's already been here. Mm -hmm. He's always dwelt here mm -hmm. and he's coming back again. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. And that's what he promised us. He said, I never leave you, nor will I forsake you. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. even until the end. Glory. Amen. Amen. So in other words, we got we got Ooh, preparation we need to be making. Amen. We got preparation because his word is sealing it up. Mm. And see, that, that that's why I love uh if we saw when we start coming to Bible study in mm. Sunday school, because you get an understanding that in the beginning was two trees. Mm -hmm. And in this book called Revelation, it becomes a book. Mm -hmm. So that means it went through a metamorphosis. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I'm gonna be quiet, Miss Cat. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Hey man, any other comments? Okay. We're going to what is it? And then it says, rejoice for the reward. It says, and the nations were angry, and the wrath, I'm sorry, and the, and the, I'm sorry, the nation was angry, and thy wrath is come. And then it goes on to say, and the time of the dead, that they shall be judged. And then it goes on to say, and they, and that thou shalt give reward unto the servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear the name shall great. Everybody's not going to be in agreement. Everybody's not going to be in agreement to if the judgment of God has arrived. And in 18, we read that the nations were angry. Why were they angry? Or who they direct their anger to? Jesus. The judgment of God Amen. comes upon them. Amen. And so they see the earth. One can easily see that they are angry because of God's anger and his judgment, as we read in 18, enraged because of the time history is come to close. Amen. And God's anger is poured out. He's pouring out his anger because he asked you to repent. Mm -hmm. Over and over again, chance after chance after, and he still does it. He still does it today, Pastor Stone. It's two things, Miss Cat, that God is doing in this day and time. And if we if we read this and we open we open it, we open our spirits to read this, this is now. Mm -hmm. Come on. Everybody you see is angry. Mm -hmm. Little children are angry at the parents and they hadn't even got a chance to really realize what they got in their parents. Mm -hmm. Couples are breaking up because they, they fall out of love because they're irreconcilable differences. Mm -hmm. Churches Amen. are breaking up because I don't like the deacon in there. I don't like the pastor how he preached. Mm -hmm. I don't like how sister such and such look at me. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. Teeth and tongue fall out. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is, God said, in the last day, mm -hmm. I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, he's also pouring out his anger. And it's wrapped mm -hmm. upon those who are in what? Mm -hmm. Disobedience. Disobedience. And those who have firmly rejected God's love and grace can only inherit his wrath. Amen. Those are the ones that's gonna get it. Amen. The ones that have rejected him. God is God is God's wrath. He will there be would that be you? Let me say it again. Those who have firmly rejected God's love mm -hmm. and grace can only inherit his wrath. Mm -hmm. Would that be you? That's a question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's something to ponder on and think about. Will that be you? The judgment of God has arrived. Mm -hmm. The book is on being opened. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. In other comments. And for those who rebel against God, however, those who have served God and loved him and gave honor to him, proclaiming his word, 
they're going to be saved. There are five groups of people that are mentioned here. The servants, the prophets, mm -hmm. the saints, mm -hmm. and those who reference the name of the Lord. Amen. The small and the great. The small and the great. You see, school, God will remember each one of us who stood firm Amen. and remained faithful. That we will receive his richly reward of eternal life. Amen. All we got to do is stay faithful. Stay faithful over a few things. He said a whole lot of things. He said over a few things that we can stay faithful to. Mm -hmm. You don't have to count them, put them in a box, mm -hmm. and wrap them up and save them. He said a few things. Amen. You, set, you really can set a perimeter to it, but Miss George had a comment. Miss George, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, what he said about the nation, the angels. Mm -hmm. So if you have to leave the revelation from 9 to 20 and 21, it's that God had tried to give them a second chance mm -hmm. to. And he would send the children of Israel in to destroy them. But one, one thing that sticks out to me, God said in his word that he wishes none that should perish, but all come to repentance. Mm -hmm. All. That's all. That's you know, all he's giving all, us a, all, of, all of us another chance. Mm -hmm. And then he goes on and says, well, every knee shall bow, mm -hmm. and every, every tongue, tongue shall confess. confess. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, that's, that's free reign. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to pay for that. Mm -hmm. Just do it. What is Miss Catherine? Just do. Just do. Just do. The Just small do. little word, deal. Just do. Just do. Don't have nobody have to beg you to do. Do. Whatever you can do for the church, just do it. Amen. Whatever you can do for God, just do it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Nobody's asking. Nobody's going to force you to do it. And God knows. I think some previous lessons earlier this year, we said God knows when your uh, praise is for real. Re Come on. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put it in simple terms. He knows when your praise is for real. Mm -hmm. He knows when you're putting on airs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people put on airs, but they won't supposed to see them. Mm -hmm. You know? Amen. But God Amen. knows the heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's where he put the commandment. He said, I'm not going to put it on a tablet. He told him, I'm not going to put it down. I'm going to put it in their heart. Come on, Miss Kat. That's what he said. Come on. So we have a lot to look forward to. And like we said last Sunday, just last Sunday, don't sit down on God. Mm -hmm. If God has done something great for you, tell, let people know he's done good for you. Don't hold it in, because mm -hmm. it won't be too late. Amen. And People at, see you. And at the same time, Miss Kathy, if you, if you, if, if we, well, when we mm -hmm. truly come to God in a true praise and worship, it becomes contagious. Mm -hmm. Even the person that didn't want to say nothing next to you, come they on. feel it. Yeah. You, you, you ever, ever join hand with somebody in yeah. prayer? And you can feel the heat come of the on, anointing. Yeah. And see, that's what destroys the yoke. It's the anointing of God that destroys the yoke. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people run from that. Mm -hmm. Because they get a forecast of what you stand for mm -hmm. because the radiance of God that's on you. Mm -hmm. Glory. So we had a place and a time in the church when they get inside this building, mm -hmm. in this house that God blessed us and put his name on, mm -hmm. we should be sending up a, a shout mm -hmm. like no other before. Amen. 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 And one, one may ask, why rejoice? Because our reward is sealed forever. Amen. God has promised eternal life. And then in Corinthians, the second, ninth chapter, I have not seen nor heard, neither have entered into the heart of man Amen. the things which God has prepared for them that love Amen. him. Amen. Let me read that again. I'm thinking Amen. Corinthians, the second chapter, the ninth verse. I have not seen mm. nor heard, neither have entered into the heart of a man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Come on now. I have not seen mm -mm. nor have entered. And that, and, that, and that verse, Pastor Stowe, closes a stern reminder that those who seek destruction mm -hmm. on earth, shall themselves be destroyed. Mm. If you seek destruction, you're going to be destroyed. Amen. Over and over again, God is, is loving. He's long-suffering. He's merciful. He's gracious. He is also God of justice. Amen. 
Yeah. Every soul will appear before God to account for the deeds and your work here on in this life. That's mm -hmm. it. It's just simple. God said, vengeance is mine. Mm -hmm. I will repay. You ain't got to try to do it. I mean, you ain't got, you ain't got to be complicated. It's simple as that. Mm -hmm. He said, vengeance is mine. I, I'll, I'll pay him for it. You don't worry about trying to pay him. I got it. Mm. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says it's written, they will be destroyed. Amen. You seek destruction, you're going to be destroyed. Those who accept Christ will be rewarded with eternal life. Amen. Pastor, that's me. Amen. That's, that's me. me too. That's me. I hope it's everybody that's sitting um, underneath this church building today and on the stream. I hope that's you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Those who accept Christ will be rewarded with eternal life on earth. You're going to be rewarded. No matter what. And then it says in verse 19, it says, And the temple of God was open in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament. And then it says in verse 19b, And there were lightning, that mm -hmm. you spoke of earlier, mm -hmm. and voices, the thundering, and the earthquake, and great hail. Amen. Come on now. God controls all of it. Amen. He, control, he controls us. Amen. He knew who was going to be here this morning Amen. and who Amen. wasn't going to be here. He knew who was going to be on the screen and who wasn't going to be on the screen. Amen. 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 He Amen. knows. John saw this. Isaiah saw it too mm -hmm. when the king died. Come on. He Come said, on. he saw this. He said the Lord was sitting up high mm -hmm. on a throne. So in the Old Testament, they talked about it. Amen. Oh, my God. If we know that mm -hmm. when we talk about the Ark of the Covenant in the Old Testament, it was only certain eyes that was able to see it. Mm -hmm. It was only certain hands that were able to get able to get close to it. Mm -hmm. So we know if God opens that up to us as believers to be able to bear witness to that, that means that we stand in the Holy of Holies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My God. Mm -hmm. And it says that John saw God's heavenly temple open in heaven with the ark there mm -hmm. of the covenant. Mm -hmm. You see, in the Old Testament, the ark was a most sacred thing to the treasure of the Israelites' nation. That's right. That's right. The ark is representative of God's presence. Mm -hmm. It's a representative of God's presence. The Lord himself mm -hmm. will be the temple for us, for his people. God is going to be that temple for us as his people. Mm -hmm. And it says, go to go on, it says that, and there came flashes of lightning, rumbling thunder, Earthquake and hailstorms. Who could do that? Mm. Who could do that? Nobody but our God. All at one the time. one existing God. All at mm. one time. At one time. Mm. This event's a uh, climax, the high point of the seventh trumpet when that trumpet blew. Amen. 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 Our God lives and he reigns forever. God has given us a glimpse of the glorious day when he will deliver us also from evil. No matter how rough ride here on earth is and how dark the nights are. The good news that we have to look forward to is that there is a guarantee that we can reach eternal life. Unfading hope of victory through the blood of the Lamb, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. Worship in this life is for a foretaste of the worship that we're going to get in heaven. Amen. It's a foretaste. It's just a little sample of what we look forward to. Will you be in that number? I hope for God that I'm in that number. Amen. And I pray, you know that song, I pray you all be ready. Come on. Amen. Get your things in order. Be ready. I hope we all be ready when God, when Jesus comes. Nobody be left behind. Mm -hmm. But God knew that. He knew that. That's why he kept saying, repent, 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 repent. And we never listened to it. Because there's something in my book that says, uh, the greatest grand opening. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, why are you looking that up? Okay, okay. What, what, what we, if we really just uh, open our spirits to receive mm. what God is telling us today in His Word, mm. is this is just a replica. A replica of it. When, when, when you get the goodness, because he, the, 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 the Ark of the Covenant that they had in the Old Testament, it was just, uh, uh, it was symbolic of the true Ark of the Covenant that's in heaven. Amen? Mm -hmm. So when, and we, when we talk about a mirror of holy of holies, you talking about you just getting a sampling of the holiness that you will receive when you get your crown, amen. Amen. So no, you 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 know that good feeling that you got when you surrendered your life. Mm -hmm. Think about having that good feeling every day, mm -hmm. all day, all the time. Mm -hmm. mm. Glory. I guess some churches we can we can we can relate to it, and other churches can relate to it. It says the audience of our worship. Mm -hmm. It says I once said in a church meeting when attenders discussed improving the worship service. Different individuals shared what they wanted to add or remove from the service order. Some suggest contradicted others. For example, one person wanted to sing more hymns, while another wanted to uh, commend, uh, 
contemporary songs. A debate ensured over the music style. I came to the conclusion that the bigger improvements we needed to make was to change our perspective on the audience of worship. We talked as if we were the recipients of the worship experience and that worship shall reflect our personal preference and sensibilities. We were wrong. Instead, God should be at the center of our worship. Mm -hmm. We were wrong. Instead, God should be in the center of our worship and we should ask ourselves whether God is pleased with our worship. Amen. Amen. That's how I said is God please. Forget about the songs, the type of songs you sing, the praise dance you do, the hollering you do. Ask yourself, is God pleased mm. with our worship? Glory. John's vision of corporate worship in heaven provides perspective. The elders surround the throne of God, direct their full attention and access of worship to him. How might we need to adjust our focus to our worship mirrors that which takes place in heaven? We gotta be ready. We were wrong instead. We gotta ask ourselves: Is God pleased with what we're doing here on earth? Mm -hmm. Amen. Miss Kathy, mm -hmm. Kathy, we got to realize there is no rhythm to worship. Mm -mm. <laughs> Y'all got that? Mm -hmm. we, we get there is no rhythm to worship because the music is only a prelude to the worship. Because mm -hmm. once you go off and worship, you don't hear no music anyway. Mm -mm. <laughs> The melodious sound that you hear at that point is the connection between you and God. Itself. Hallelujah. So all music stops at that point. Mm -hmm. And you just go into a place of peace. Mm -hmm. And so there is no rhythm in that. God is the rhythm that brings you to that place of worship mm -hmm. because your praise sets it up. Mm -hmm. So some people might like devotion to, to, to praise off of. Mm -hmm. Some people might like contemporary. Some people like straight soulful gospel. Mm -hmm. You know, whichever your preference is, put that in your spirit. And allow your worship to come from that. Amen. But it doesn't matter which way you get that. Just get that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes. I still want to want to ask the question. I know John John was speaking, but I uh, but Pastor when, when he's speaking to the church at the, the seven church yes. at uh, yes. uh, of Asia Mountain. Yes. Right. Uh, uh, when, 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 when he when he speaking to the, to the old church. Yes. Yes. We that, said yeah. that um, last week. Uh huh. That's why that, that's why everything had a seven in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I just I just want to clear that. Okay. Yes, sir. Amen. Good question. Yes, sir. Excellent question. Amen. Okay. What happened when the seventh angel sound blew the trumpet? What happened when the seventh angel blew the trumpet? What happened? You, you mean when number seven decided number to seven. blow? Okay, mm -hmm. when number seven blow and sounded off on their trumpet, what happened? Just praise and celebrating God happened. Mm -hmm. What were the multitude of people doing in heaven? They were also praising and celebrating. Mm -hmm. Okay, why was Revelation written? Why was it written in the first place? Why did God? Give John the vision to see what was going on. Why was it? He told him to write it down. Mm -hmm. Why was it written? Immediately before the second coming of Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Before the tribulation. Mm -hmm. How many trumpets were blown? How many trumpets were blown? Seven. 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 Thought to remember, there's a future when God's reign in heaven will join his reign on earth. Remember that God, he reigns forever and ever. He reigns forever and ever. Amen? Amen. Amen. And then it says, again, it says, he is, he is who is, who was, and is to come. Mm -hmm. Simply saying, God is always who was, who is, and who is to come. Glory. Amen. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. 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 Let's give God Amen. some praise. Amen. 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 Well prepared, well studied, and well versed. Amen. Amen. We thank God for our teaching. We thank God for the book of Revelation, which gives us revelation to live by day to day and know that there is a, a future Amen. that goes beyond what we're dealing with. Because some people uh, are ready for the kingdom mm. and they tired of being here. Mm. But until God says so, mm -hmm. until God says so, mm. 
we have to deal with it. Amen? Amen. Amen. So why not take in everything that you can take, every resource that God is putting out there for us to receive the word, retain the word, and walk by the word. Amen. That's why he says many times in the book of Revelation, a blessing be to the hearers and the doers of his holy word. Amen? Amen. Amen. Blessing be to the hearer and the doers of his holy word. We're just so grateful and thankful for uh, our teacher who God uh, allows to go down to the storehouse of knowledge and conveys his word to us through her from Sunday to Sunday. Uh, it's just a blessing to have that in a church where not only you just come for service and have a good time in service and leave, but you being taught something. You have the opportunity to ask questions. You have opportunity to get into the class and get into the uh, 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 subject and ask these questions that you might have in your spirit that you haven't gotten answered yet. And I promise you, if she can't answer, we can't come together and answer today. Give us a little while to research. We coming back. We coming back because we don't know everything. And so anybody who said, the Bible says, be careful of the man who says that he knows something. Because he knows nothing that he ought to know. Amen? Amen. Amen. But he also says, study to show thyself approved. Amen? Amen. 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 So we continue to study. We continue to stay on the wall. We thank God for you bringing your uh, spirits with us to join in, and we be on one accord, and it's just a blessing. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we come before you, and thank you for your grace today. We serve to be more than sufficient, God, because all through last night, God, when I didn't even have good enough sense to go to sleep, you sent an angel of mercy to lay down with me, God, and put me out. But not only did you put me out, God, you breathed the breath of life in me this morning to wake me back up. So, God, I say thank you. Thank you, God. Now, before I go any further, God, forgive me of anything that I've done that's not pleasing in your sight. I ask now, God, because I don't just want this prayer to hit the roof of this church. I want this prayer to go into the heavens, God, that you will not return to me void and empty. God, in the name of Jesus, touch now, God. Touch your people. Touch them, God. Touch them in special places, God. One is going through something and another one is going through something else. But God, you are able. You're able today, God, in Jesus' name. So, God, one more thing I want to ask, that you will bless the sick and shut in, that you will reach them right where they are, God. I speak healing in the name of Jesus, that you will go behind prison walls, God, that you will touch the prisoners. God, not only the prisoners who are physically locked up, but the prisoners who are also spiritually locked up. Father, set them free, God, right now in the name of Jesus, God. And God, as we prepare to go from one service to another, we take we ask that you will take us even higher. Take us higher now, Lord, in you. Take us higher in your Holy Spirit. Yes, Anoint us for the mighty work, God. And I thank God for the teacher of this moment, God. Continue to crown her wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And bring us to a place, God, that we'll be on all on one accord, saying, holy, holy, the Lord is with us. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.